What if the world was just one breakthrough away from curing HIV forever? It's a question that has intrigued scientists, inspired communities, and given hope to millions of people living with HIV. With rapid advancements in medical science, including technologies like gene editing, mRNA vaccines, and long-acting therapies, the search for an HIV cure is more alive than ever. But how close are we to turning this hope into reality? In this video, we take a deep dive into the future of HIV cure. What's working, what's still in development, and what challenges remain. If you've ever wondered whether HIV can be cured or how close science is to cracking the code, make sure to watch until the very end. We'll cover the latest in global research, life-changing breakthroughs, and why now is the time to stay informed and proactive. Current status, managing not curing. Today, HIV is no longer the death sentence it was once feared to be, thanks to antiretroviral therapy, ART. These medications help suppress the virus in the body, allowing people with HIV to live long, healthy lives. But there's a catch. ART isn't a cure. It must be taken daily, often for life. And if someone stops taking it, the virus quickly returns. HIV also hides in dormant cells in the body, called viral reservoirs, which current treatments cannot fully eliminate. New antiretroviral medications. To reduce the burden of daily medication and improve patient outcomes, researchers are developing next-generation antiretroviral drugs. These new medications aim to last longer in the body, minimize side effects, and improve adherence. Imagine going from taking a pill every day to an injection every few months. This is becoming a real possibility. With better formulations and improved durability, these therapies offer new hope for easier management of HIV. Stem cell transplants, rare but real. Perhaps one of the most headline-grabbing developments in the HIV cure space has been the use of stem cell transplants. A few extraordinary cases, like the Berlin and London patients, have achieved long-term HIV remission following transplants from donors with a rare genetic mutation that makes cells resistant to HIV. While incredibly promising, this method remains high-risk, expensive, and impractical for widespread use. Still, it proves a cure is possible under the right conditions. HIV vaccines, a potential HIV cure. The idea of an HIV vaccine has been a holy grail for decades. Scientists are now developing both preventive vaccines to stop infection before it starts, and therapeutic vaccines to help people already living with HIV fight the virus. These efforts have gained momentum thanks to the success of COVID-19 mRNA vaccines. Several trials are currently underway, and while there's no approved HIV vaccine yet, the science is catching up fast. Long-acting therapies, Game changer for adherence. Imagine not having to take a pill every day. Long-acting injectable therapies are making this a reality, like lenacopavir. That's the promise of long-acting therapies. These medications are delivered monthly, or even every two months, and maintain viral suppression just like daily pills. For many, this means more convenience, less stigma, and better outcomes. As these treatments evolve, they may also be used in combination with other strategies to drive the virus out of hiding. Gene editing, CRISPR, and genetic approaches. One of the most revolutionary tools in science today is CRISPR, a gene editing technique that allows precise changes to DNA. Researchers are now testing whether CRISPR can cut out HIV from infected cells. Early results in lab settings have been promising. The ultimate hope is to deliver gene editing therapies that erase HIV from the body altogether. Several biotech companies are actively running trials, including one called EBT101, which is aiming to do just that, boosting the immune system. Another promising area of research is enhancing the immune system's ability to fight HIV on its own. This includes therapies like broadly neutralizing antibodies, BNABs, which can target multiple strains of the virus, and CAR T-cell therapy, which reprograms the body's own cells to hunt and kill infected ones. These methods aim not only to suppress the virus, but to give the body the tools it needs to resist HIV in the long term, potentially without daily drugs. mRNA technology, a new frontier. The success of mRNA vaccines during the COVID-19 pandemic has sparked new hope for HIV. These vaccines teach the immune system to recognize and destroy specific targets. In this case, HIV antigens. Because mRNA can be developed quickly and adapted for different strains, it's a powerful tool in the fight against a constantly mutating virus. Several HIV mRNA vaccines are now in early stages of development and could mark a major turning point. Major challenges ahead. Despite all this progress, key challenges remain. 
The most stubborn is the HIV reservoir, pockets of dormant virus that hide in cells unaffected by treatment. Even when someone's viral load is undetectable, the virus can quickly rebound if therapy is stopped. Another concern is drug resistance, where the virus adapts and becomes less responsive to existing medications. There's also growing awareness of neurocognitive issues linked to long-term HIV infection, which must be addressed in future therapies. Global equity and accessibility. None of these advances will matter if they're not accessible to everyone. More than two-thirds of people living with HIV are in low- and middle-income countries. As the science evolves, global efforts are essential to ensure affordable treatment, robust healthcare infrastructure, and equitable access to the most promising new therapies. That includes funding, political will, and international partnerships that prioritize human lives over profit. Early detection and regular testing, why it matters more than ever. When it comes to HIV, what you don't know can hurt you. That's why early detection and regular testing are two of the most powerful tools in the fight against the virus, both for individual health and public safety. Most people don't realize that HIV can live in the body for years without obvious symptoms. During that time, it continues to silently weaken the immune system and can be unknowingly passed on to others. But here's the good news. When HIV is detected early, before symptoms appear, treatment is more effective, easier to manage, and can even prevent transmission to others. Your health is in your hands, don't wait. If you've ever found yourself wondering, should I get tested? The answer is simple, yes. There's no reason to guess when confidential, affordable, and accurate HIV testing is available right now. With today's advanced tools like the HIV RNA test, you can detect the virus as early as seven to 10 days after exposure, much sooner than traditional tests. Act now. Don't wait for symptoms. Don't wait for a scare. Early testing saves lives, maybe even yours. To find a lab near you, learn about your options and take the first step toward clarity and control. Whether you're looking for peace of mind, early diagnosis, or quick answers, this is your path forward. Start with a trusted platform like HIVRNATestGuide.com. We have more than 4,500 plus HIV testing labs across the United States, making it easy to access reliable and confidential testing. No matter which city or state you're in, book your test online. Simply visit HIVRNATestGuide.com, enter your zip code or city, select a nearby testing location, schedule your test, and receive your results within 24 to 48 hours. Simply book your test online in a few clicks. You'll get a confirmation with your lab details. It's fast, private, and designed to give you peace of mind. Take control of your health. Get tested today.